Disclaimer, this channel and all its videos are meant for a PG-13 audience. With that out of the way, enjoy this video. Thomas Friends has a lot of merchandise. The merchandise lines can go from great to ah! In today's video, I'm going to talk about the UK exclusive Tom's Ertles. But as you probably know, I don't do videos reviewing merchandise, so I'm going to try to invite some people who know more about this topic and pull them in into my cinematic universe. I would wear safety glasses, but the black hole in my head would just suck them straight up. Alright, let's hope this works. Here we go, about to enter another YouTuber cinematic universe. Hey everyone, Thomas Mariah Fan 11 here, and today I'm doing a behind the scenes video on my next Roblox remake which is Thomas and, uh, where am I? I would explain this, but I got more people to bring in. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Fairly's Fantastic Unboxings, and... Yes, it worked! Wait, no, it didn't. Wait, Ganon? What's going on? Who are you people? No time for talking. I need to get the original person I actually wanted for this crossover. Hey everybody, MaxMonty1516 here, back again, and today, well, I'm gonna be flexing my Capsule Playroll collection again. Wait, uh, ah! Who, who are you? Why was I brought here? Is this everyone? I believe so, let me just change everything back real quick. Well, that works, now we can continue on with- What are we doing? Well, since you asked, we're doing a video about... Don't I know you guys? You do know them, but for me, it's more of a different universe, different timeline. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Now since I have you all here, even though I only originally wanted one person, we might as well do the crossover about UK Hurdles. Y'all know about those, right? Yes? It's basically my life. Uh, anyway, so now we can finally get into the video about UK Hurdles. The first model is Murdoch. His face is kinda odd, and his side rods are just three rectangles, which look kinda ugly and unnatural. His proportions are fine, but the green lining is kinda ugly in my opinion. Still not a bad model overall. Up next is Arthur. I think he's a fantastic representation of the character. I love his proportions in detail too. The color's a bit too light and inaccurate, but I still think he looks pretty good. Here's Fergus. My biggest gripe with this model is the face is way too big, which is pretty sad considering the rest of him looks pretty fine. The color schemes aren't too shabby, and the funnel and flywheel are actually not bad. Overall, not a bad model, but could be better. Now here is Emily's model. Now, this model is perfect for one of the prettiest characters in Thomas and Friends. Everything about her is great, and what's really cool is that they add white lining around her wheels, which makes her look extra pretty. Just looking at her model is just satisfying to look at. Everything is right about her, and I honestly wish I had this. It's probably one of the best representations of Emily out there. Definitely recommend if you ever want to get this. This is Spencer's model. Spencer may be my favorite character, but that doesn't mean this model is automatically good. His proportions are pretty weird. His front looks fine, but then near the back it slopes down like he got stepped on. It makes him look like a squashed pancake. His face and wheels are cool though, and he has a nice shade of silver. Here's Bear's model. I love Bear as a character, and from a design standpoint, and this model certainly doesn't disappoint. The face looks pretty good, and the detail is astounding. Unfortunately, he's in his blue livery and not NWR green. However, I still think he's worth picking up if you can find one for a decent price. Or if one of your friends got you one as a gift. Shout out to Pan Your Jester, by the way. Next up is Dowager Hat, Hat and, and Mrs. Mrs. Kindly. Kindly. Oh, I guess we're both doing that one. You know, I haven't seen what these things look like, so let's see if they look- Oh my. How are these things that ugly? Dowager Hat is... bad. She looks so ugly and inaccurate. I can't believe that's official. You think she's bad? Look at Mrs. Kindly. She doesn't get merchandise that often. Look how bad she looks. It can barely resemble her face. It's like she got a botched plastic surgery. Her body isn't bad, I'll give her that, but... The face really does ruin everything on her. Next is Falcon, who is basically Sir Handel, only with the changed nameplate. I love the narrow gauge engines in Ertle. They are so well proportioned and scaled near perfectly. This model is no exception. A solid must buy if you're a dedicated collector. Too bad there was no Stuart though. Next we have Frank. Frank is very accurate with his height and proportions, and the length he has. His face is kind of weird. But I really do like him, and it was nice that he had a black running board. Not like he wouldn't, but I just think it looks nice. Here is Ertl Salty. 
He is just okay. He looks a little too short, and his silver stack feels too tall in my opinion. His face could also be a little better. Not much else to say about it. He's okay. So, here's Jock's model. It was the final one produced in the range, but man did they go out with a bang. Jock is insanely accurate and detailed, and he looks magnificent. His face is great, and I love the yellow livery. Next up, Elizabeth. She's a nice lorry model. Her colors could be brighter, and I wish they could have had some detail in her front cab windows. But no biggie. Would recommend picking her up and probably giving her a new paint job while you're at it. Next up is Neil. Now, Neil is the only UK Ertle that I actually own, and the model feels nice. It's made out of a really nice die cast, which is really in its favor. The face isn't too accurate, and neither are the wheels. And sadly, Neil's never gotten a model with a face or wheels that look accurate to his illustration. In the illustrations, Neil has a more smug looking face and his wheels are really big. And his buffers are black instead of the silver that the Ertle one has. I'm not too sure why they did that, but it does look nice on that. Another thing that Neil does have on his illustrations is the black rim around his face. That's kind of cool and I like it, but it didn't make its way onto the Ertle model. His side rods are completely wrong. They're literally just a straight line in his Ertle model, which I don't understand because Neil had a nice complex piston rod on his bigger wheels and illustrations. They could have made his face just a little more smaller and it would have been really nice to have the black rim around his face. But, even though it doesn't have anything too accurate to Neil, I like to think of it as a reimagining of Neil as a design. They probably messed with his proportions some, and messed around with his design just to see what they liked, and this is what they got. A whole new reimagined character. And, I like that. Jack the front loader in Ertl form is a model that, uh, exists. Okay, it's not that bad, but that phase, oh my, it's literally the only thing wrong with it. His model is fine. Isabel's a very interesting model. As a character, there isn't much to talk about. I really like her as a model, though, and she's very accurate to the illustrations. She's the coach Oliver and Toad escaped with in the Railway series, but she never made it into the show. Why they decided to keep her and make her in 2003, I guess we'll never know. Next is Alfie. Miles better than Trackmaster Alfie, I'll say that. It's near accurate to his TV series counterpart, and the face is magnificent. Plus, the movable scoop is great. Worthy of being rare, in my opinion. Get this instead of the Trackmaster, Alfie. You won't regret it. Harvey is my personal favorite model in the entire range. Out of all the UK exclusive ones, he was one of my first. I love how much effort was put into this model. So many of the small things are painted and detailed. My only real problem is how awkward the face is, like with the chin being so large. But other than that, he's really solid. Here is Catherine. Catherine is a great model. She looks very accurate except for her face. Maybe if they moved her nose down and eyes up, it would probably look way better. But this is still a great model for this character. And it'll probably go really well if you have an Ertl Coldy. And that is all of the UK Ertls for this video. Wait, what will happen to us? I want to finish my unboxing. I want to understand how we can all breathe in here. Yeah, well, for me being like a half cyborg, I can understand me breathing here, but I'm not too sure how you're all surviving, but about all you getting back home, <laughs> uh, I can't do it. All right, bye everyone. What?